So one of the things that people often do when they go into the holidays is they just take this like YOLO approach and that's never worked for people before. Well, it's, you know, from Thanksgiving through New Year, it's just kind of a free for all. And I'm just gonna eat whatever I want and I won't worry about it and January's gonna save me. Because on January, you crash diet. You end up losing out on a lot of the joy that the holidays can bring because you don't feel your best. And then come January, you're in the gym or dieting, depriving and punishing yourself. So we really wanna flip the script on that. The holidays is a great time to practice your food freedom, to ask yourself, is it worth it? Do I want it? The red and green M&Ms in the candy dish at your office, not very special, but your mom's once a year chocolate chip cookies, those probably are. I think there are a few strategies you can take when dealing with some family pressure around eating certain foods during the holidays, people underestimate the power of a simple conversation ahead of time. I think we often show up in social situations thinking, well, we'll just navigate it when we get there. But if we just had a really simple conversation ahead of time, it could negate a lot of these issues. I think the other thing we forget is that we don't owe anybody an explanation for holding our boundaries and practicing self-care. So it's very simple just to say no thank you. There are so many other simple ways we can simply say no and not feel like we owe some justification for choosing to hold a boundary around food that doesn't serve us.